Happy 25, happy 25, happy 25. Happy 25! It's only words, and words are all I have to take your heart away. Na 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 Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwaraha, Guru Sakshat Parabrahma, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. For your 25 years of love and guidance at St. Francis Xavier Girls High School, Nurturing young minds, being their friend and counsellor, a second mother. Here are a few messages of gratitude from some of the many thousands of students whose lives you've touched. We love you. Hi, Miss Bernie. Hi, Mrs. Bernie. Hi, Miss 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 Bernie. Hello, ma'am. Miss Bernie. Hi, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. Bernie. Hi Miss Bernie. Hi Miss Bernie. Hey Miss Bernie. Hi Miss Bernie. Hi ma'am. Hi Miss Bernie. 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 Hi ma'am. Hi ma'am. Hi ma'am. Hi Miss Bernie. Thank you for all the love, support and care that you've given. I've never seen someone that teaches with as much passion as you do. You're always so supportive and you make sure your students know that they're loved and thank you for helping me find my aim. I still remember the day we were talking about careers and I didn't really know what I was studying for or what I was doing but then I spoke to you as usual and everything turned out fine. That's what happens when I speak to you. I always feel comforted. You're like a second mother to me. And those three years that I spent in middle school they gave me more information on life than I think any of the years before that. I'm so thrilled to hear that you're completing 25 years as an educator. Congratulations. Congratulations on completing 25 years of teaching. Congratulations on 25 years. I want to wish you a big congratulations on completing 25 years at SFX. Congratulations on completing 25 years in SFX. Congratulations, ma'am, on completing 25 years in this profession. Happy 25 years. It's your 25 years in SFX and I just wanted to congratulate you. Congratulations Miss Bernie on completing 25 years at SFX. Congratulations on completing 25 years of teaching at SFX. Just wanted to take this moment to congratulate you on 25 years of teaching. Congratulations on completing 25 years at SFX. Congratulations in love you so much. Congratulations on 25 years of teaching and shaping young minds. Congratulations on completing 25 years as a teacher. Congratulations on completing 25 years of teaching at SFX. Congratulations on you completing 25 years at SFX. Congratulations on completing 25 years at SFX. Congratulations on completing 25 years. Congratulations on your 25 years of service. Congratulations on completing 25 years of teaching. Congratulations on 25 years of teaching in SFX. Congratulations on completing 25 years. Congratulations on completing your 25 years in SFX, ma'am. Congratulations on completing 25 years in SFX. Miss, I was so happy when I heard the news and I could actually make a video and wish you personally. That made me feel really good. I'm so happy I could do this for you. I really don't know if you don't remember or not, but, but no one can forget you. I don't believe that you have been teaching for 25 years I mean you don't seem that old I really enjoyed being taught by you and you were such a lovely person you always looked after us with so much love and care and patience I really wonder how you did it sometimes I can't manage with just this one and I don't know how you put up with 40 50 of us from my third standard teacher which I believe was in 1999 yeah, a long time ago uh, I remember you used to be one of the sweetest teachers and just the most approachable person back then. It's been 18 years since I was in your class in third standard. You were my class teacher. And what I remember the most is how you were the only teacher I've ever known who did 
did not scold the kids in class. Whenever I think of you, I'm just filled with a sense of gratitude because you played such an important role in the most crucial stages of my life. I can't imagine the number of students you must have taught uh, and they are so lucky and I am so lucky because I was one of them. <laughs> there are so many memories that I have of Miss Bernie um, but even though she taught me only one class in 7th standard, she was and is still my favorite teacher of all time. I'm so blessed that I was a part of you know many years that you have been uh, connected with SFX. It's been so long, wow. I still remember when we were in school, I, every time we came back from summer holidays, we still think, I hope Miss Bernie is a class teacher, I hope Miss Bernie is a class teacher. I think all of us loved you because you were so nice and all the patience you had, and especially the extra love that you gave us both. She's such an important person in my life, or probably some, she's the kind of person I always think about is because she's always believed in me. This is something that I have not had throughout my childhood to believe that I was special or had something. I mean she saw it in me. There are very few people who come across teachers like you and here's wishing you a very happy teaching anniversary and uh, many more to come. I think uh, a lot of people don't really get to recognize their talent at a very young age and you allowed me to do that and that has been the best memory of my entire school life. It's been such an honor and privilege to be your student. I've learned so much from you as a teacher, how kind and compassionate you are towards your students. You're so caring and so approachable. I'm seriously ma'am, I was so lucky to have you as a teacher, class teacher in the fourth and a geography teacher in the sixth standard. Who knew you would come back and teach us in uh, middle school? Never expected that. I was in 5C, I was one of the kids you thought was very naughty and uh, you did believe in me enough to make me the class leader and uh, wow, uh, that I needed that boost back then. You were definitely one of the sweetest, most amazing teachers I've had in middle school. I really wish you were with us in high school as well. I really missed your presence in high school. I can never forget the way you taught us uh, geography uh, with a lot of effort. You've been one of those sweetest teachers and uh, one of those teachers who we could go and ask the doubts n number of times and you would patiently explain it to us all over again. I remember when I was in fifth grade and uh, you were my class teacher and you said that uh, Beauty isn't external, so we have to, we shouldn't judge a book by its cover. And even till today, ma'am, I can hear your voice in my head sometimes telling me that that looks are beyond, that we're supposed to look beyond someone's external appearance. I was privileged to have you as my class teacher, not only in third, but also in fifth standard. And I think more than a decade has passed since. But the imprint you've made on my life has remained. You've always been my favorite teacher and there was so much I learned from you. you you've been so patient and kind-hearted around everybody. And we learned so much and I still learn from that in fact. You were one of my favorite teachers through school and you always had a smiling face. Uh, I'm filled with fond memories whenever I think of you. And you always had something nice to say about every single student right from the topper to the naughtiest kid in class. I know that this has been an amazing journey for you and I hope you continue what you're doing and just be the supportive person that I know you are. You've always been one of those teachers, especially for me, you've always been one of those teachers where it doesn't matter if we move on to like high school or even after high school that you've just been such an amazing support system, always been somebody who we could talk to and fall back to when needed. I can never forget the PTA meetings where you call me a little angel and there's times I messed up English grammar because I didn't know where to use a vowel. Not only did we look forward to being in class with you but also just being in your presence and hanging out with you whenever we were at school. I honestly can't believe that time has passed by so soon. I still remember the first day of 6th grade when I was so upset because you weren't my class teacher. But thankfully in 7th grade you taught me geography and English and I remember how excited I would get before every single class because you managed to turn the most boring topics into something so interesting. When I got put in your class in 6th grade it was one of the luckiest moments I've had 
because um, till then I never got the support and help that I needed from a teacher and when I came to your class I got exactly what I needed from a teacher I got help I got support I got kindness so much kindness from you when you were my teacher in sixth grade it really really made a difference you taught me how to pray the right way and you taught me how to study the right way and you helped me through everything I knew that I could always just come to you and talk to you about things because I knew you would help me and you'd listen to me and you'd give me the right advice you have been a great teacher and a beautiful teacher I remember when I was in primary how much they used to talk about you so I always waited for you to teach me but you never did because Becky was always in my class but that's fine I've known you as an amazing person I've known you as an amazing teacher one of the greatest and unforgettable memories that stand above all of my experiences as a student was the time spent with my all time favorite teacher from school and that is Miss Bonnie have shaped many lives and I'm privileged to be one of them. Even though I've not been a student, you've been the most sweetest teacher I've ever known. Even though you were never my teacher, you never taught me because Becky was always in my class. But uh, I know how amazing a teacher you are and a human and the most sweetest and the kindest person ever. So I hope you have a great time. My fondest memory of Miss Bernie is when I was in the fifth standard. I had to give my name and poem to ma'am for the English elocution. Ma'am suggested a different poem as the one that I had selected was very common. At first, I was very, very, very scared to attempt a funny poem because I had never recited one before. And I think ma'am realized that too. But when I went home and practiced, I realized I could express it if you do it well. It was with this poem, The Angry Dinosaur, that I won the English elocution that year. It also gave me the confidence to stand on stage, to speak, to express, and to try out new things. Ma'am, congratulations on your 25 years of teaching. I still have a few more years to go in school, and I hope that you will be there to teach me a lot more. You took a huge chance on us, you were so kind to us, and one of the few teachers I remember to her. I carry the rosary that she gave me um, wherever I go. I currently live in Los Angeles and I'm still holding her rosary. Uh, because she really shaped me. You you made me the uh, head girl in primary school and fourth standard, and it was one of the most memorable times of my schooling. And my parents were so proud. It was a really proud moment for my parents as well. You were there for me at every stage, supporting me guiding me, identifying that talent in me that I could do more than just academics. Right from right from pushing me to participate in elocution in third standard, to making me the head girl in fourth standard, to giving me an opportunity again for the first time to speak during general assembly in middle school, to bringing me back to school to judge an elocution and to be in there on my, by my side during my wedding. I miss you so much and I'm always reminded of you every now and then. I'm a teacher now and uh, I can only aspire to be half as good as you were. You were like so kind and so gentle. Um, totally a mum to me considering the fact that I was in boarding school. So um, always look to you for comfort and you were always there. And I also remember how I would come to visit you before every single exam until 10th grade because you were good luck and every time I didn't visit you my exam would just not go well <laughs> yeah they were good times and I miss you a lot I can't wait for the lockdown to end and I can't wait to return to Bangalore and to celebrate this occasion with you I'll always remember how you chose to keep in touch with me even after I graduated from school 
and the fact that you always asked about my family and prayed for us that's such a blessing I'm so grateful for everything that you have done for me for all of the hours that you spent outside of school um during lunch break helping me with history and geography and my handwriting and always supporting me with my music and my writing and everything that i wanted to do um i'm really grateful that i got you as a teacher one thing which i really loved about your teaching is your kindness towards all of us hats off to you ma'am that is really really rare to find these days and yeah that's all i can say ma'am when if i think about it you are really come towards us never harsh on us you've always been there throughout my schooling been so patient so understanding and always giving me that extra nudge extra encouragement whenever i needed it i just keep remembering that and i'm so grateful for you like being there for me and helping me through all of this um you're such an amazing teacher ma'am like you were one of my favorite teachers in school and you really helped me so much and i'm so happy for you it's 25 years and you've literally helped each and every one of us you made such an impact on all of us she was really instrumental in building my morality because i've seen how she lives her life with there's so much purity there's so much um genuine niceness and, and forgiveness and dignity with which she lives her life and i i always i always i always look back at my school days and at our conversations whenever i'm stuck at difficult times because she really does bring out the best in me and when i stepped in middle school i thought you were a really strict teacher it turned out you're the best and the sweetest teacher i've ever known and i also remember my excursion days how much i irritated you your voice or your presence can literally light up anyone's mood and i'm so glad i had a teacher like you man you're a beautiful human being one of the things which i've learned from you man and has strengthened and kept me going in life is that every problem has a solution you may not find the solution today but it is there ma'am your contribution in my life is one of the reasons why i've come this far today it's thanks to teachers like you that i am inspired to be a teacher today and i i i'm i'm kind of seeing myself there someday i hope you continue to change lives like you have been for the past 25 years you're one of those teachers who keeps an eye on us and like looks out for us even if we are not in your class or if we are in different sections as long as you know us uh, and that means a lot to students especially to me that meant so much the time i spent with you just crossing each other on the corridors greeting each other i learned so much just from those few seconds or minutes that i would you know come across you in my entire day how compassionate you are how patient you are what a loving person you are and i have truly tried to you know uh, attach these things even in my personality and build and mold myself miss bunny i will never get the geography lessons you have taught us you have taken so much effort to teach us those lessons enjoyed learning about different countries different regions etc all because of your classes and you it was never boring for so often just putting us as students first and making sure that we were the ones who had top priority for you even though i'm sure that was so hard so many times thank you so much ma'am you've always been an inspiration to all of us and you've always told us to be the best we can and i think you led by example also in that you were one of the kindest persons i knew you were so gentle with us little kids and at the same time you were so firm with us and i think that perfect balance makes you a truly great teacher really miss those days but i have such fond memories of middle school thanks to you and also you've also been 
one of the kindest and most supportive teachers that I've had in my life and I will always be grateful to you for that. Such fond memories about middle school and primary and when you were my class teacher, it was something I always felt so warm about and whenever I visit school, I always want to and I need to meet you because that's that's something uh, that makes me feel so good and so warm about school memories. I don't know if you remember but there was this time uh, Lauren and I fought and she was like I don't want to sit with you anymore during lunch and I came crying to you and then you were like just apologize Melissa like she's your friend and I wouldn't have done that if you hadn't told me and now Lauren and I are still so close because of what you told me man. I had the lucky opportunity to have Miss Miss Bernie as my class teacher in the third grade and in the fifth grade um, she was an amazing teacher, the most kind-hearted teacher I've ever come across. Um, I just never forget Miss Bernie and her grammar skills. You have been a favorite teacher for many students. Wishing you a happy and a healthy life. Ma'am, hearty congratulations on completing 25 years of your service at SFX. Ma'am, I am fortunate enough have been guided by you. You have strengthened my foundation and I will forever be grateful to you. I am honored to have been a part of this video and I hope you continue to inspire and open the hearts of many other students. One of the most striking things about you is that you are such a sweet motherly figure in school throughout. Like, you're a teacher, but we always felt we could approach you for anything. And such things will never be forgotten by me now. Still remember you every time I use a vowel. And every time someone uses a vowel incorrectly, I wonder why they didn't have someone like Miss Bernie. Uh, I'm so glad to be under your guidance for a really long time. And I hope that a lot of people get the opportunity to be taught by you. And I really think that, you know, that time when you actually told me to stand up in front of a lot of people and just sing was the best moment uh, of my school life and I'll always keep it close to my heart. You were always so sweet, so kind, so understanding with all of us. And you were seriously the sweetest teacher I've ever had. And we were so lucky to have you as a mentor. A lot more Davidites can say that you know, Miss Bernie is my favorite teacher, just like I still hold to this day that you're one of my favorite teachers. Um, and good luck, ma'am. I'm so happy that I could be a part, a small part of this great 25 year journey that you've had. And God bless you, and I pray that you continue to shine for His glory. This beacon of light for more, more girls than just me over the past 25 years. And on your 25th anniversary, here's wishing you so much more love, happiness and good health um, for years to come so that you can be that guiding light to many more girls. Um, this one specific memory was, um, this happened in 7th standard. It was, a, it was regarding me and another new student. Every parent, every teacher was ready to pin the blame on me, but Miss Bernie, really let me prove my innocence, let me speak about the situation and I will forever be grateful for that. I never I never forget that because she was the only one who believed in me at that moment. I there was no man who her patience at all. Ma'am, you were the person to drive me to have the ready to school mentality every single day. From the day one your approachable nature has helped all of us to confide in you. The influence you had on each and every student of yours can never be erased. We love you. Thank you so much for everything that you have done as a teacher, as a friend and just being there around. Thank you so much and congratulations again. Wishing you many more years in this profession and in life. Thank you so much for everything, ma'am. Thank you. I hope many more students get to enjoy your wonderful love. I hope there are many more generations who come, who get to learn with you and experience your wonderful personality. I hope you continue this amazing journey. I'm really hoping you continue to do this beautiful thing for many more years to come and a very happy 25 years. We 
hope you continue to prove generations of Zebrites who are just as lucky as us. You have a rare talent of making things easy for every student to learn, and that's something amazing. Now, you mean a lot to me. I think we owe a lot of what we are to you. You are one of the sweetest teachers that I have known, and then yeah, your smile true. will always bring me up. You were my favorite teacher, and thank you for always being there. No one will ever forget whatever you've done for them. I have never forgotten you, and I don't think that I will in my entire life. Thank you so much, ma'am. You make a perfect teacher. I thank you for being uh, such a wonderful teacher, always encouraging, always kind, and always humble. I just want to thank you for all those precious childhood memories. Thank you so much for everything you've done for us. Thank you so much for everything you've done. Thank you so much, ma'am. Okay, thank you. It's funny. Thank you so much for being my friend, and being my teacher, and being an inspiration to me. I'd like to thank you for all that you have done for me. Thank you so much for creating such a powerful impact on the way that I have grown up. Thank you for helping me see the person in me and believing in me. Thank you for always being there. I mean, just being you. That made it so special. Thank you so much for being such a great teacher and such a great role model. I want to thank you for being such an amazing teacher. Thank you for making school such a safe and happy place. Thank you so much for who you are. Thank you for everything. Thanks for always being there for me in my hard times and supporting me in everything. Thanks for all the support and always standing by. Thank you for being such an awesome teacher. Thank you for everything. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Ms. Bunny, for everything you've done. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. I'm so, so thankful for everything that you've done for me. Thank you so much, ma'am, for everything. Thank you so much once again. Thank you so much. We love you. We all love you and we miss you a lot. We all love you very much. We love you, ma'am. We all love you. I love you. I can't wait to see you again. I really, really miss you and I'm keeping you in my prayers. I'm so honored to know you. God bless you and all the best in your future endeavors. You're doing a wonderful job. God bless you. Keep at it and all the best for your next 25 years. We still remember you and we always will. Wishing you all the best and blessings, more blessings to come your way. Keep it going, miss. You, you, you're really great. Thank you and I love you so much. I love you. Bye bye. I love you. Bye. We love you. Bye bye. You've been